Hello, Namaste. Welcome to my channel, Jeevan Hunipal. Uh, today, I am going to show you that how to make a uh, AVC curve using GIS environment. Uh, first of all, uh, the point data is collected from the field. That means primary data is used uh, in this video. Uh, and I am going to just show you my uh, basic introduction in AVC curve. Uh, first of all, AC curve is uh, depends upon the true positive rate that means landslide sample which is directly collected uh, from the field uh, or you can use the secondary data uh, from uh, digitizing using uh, Google Earth or uh, any secondary medium and after that uh, data collected from the field uh, is used here as a testing data and then after uh, you reproject it uh, default uh, from it uh, it is in WGS84 form and after that uh, you are going to uh, project it into UTM zone and after that false positive rate means the model that you generated in the ArcGIS environment and that means uh, any raster model uh, you can use lens susceptibility analysis or you can use any uh, flow analysis or you can use the uh, groundwater potential uh, mapping any extra model uh, you can check the accuracy uh, then uh, the model is generated from the uh, training data set uh, first of all there are two data set uh, first uh, to make the model you need to training data set and after that uh, you need to check check this model using testing data set that means two positive rate and after that uh, you reproject it and then uh, these two projection uh, needs, needs to have same uh, medium that means same projection system after that uh, you can use uh, arc stm toolbox uh, it is freely available in, uh, in medium and then uh, using GIS, you can add the toolbox at STM toolbox in GIS. And after that, uh, you can make the AVC curve. And there, there is a value of AVC curve. Uh, if you your value is above the 0 0.9 to 1, then its quality is excellent, and so on. Let's go through the ArcGIS. Here is the uh, suitability map of groundwater potential, groundwater recharge uh, location, and this is the training testing sample, uh, which is directly collected, uh, collected from the field. Uh, so that I am going to test this uh, data set in this suitability map. First of all, uh, you need to download the Arc STM toolbox. Uh, um, I have already downloaded Arc uh, STM toolbox, so I am going to extract this toolbox. And inside Arc STM toolbox, there is a Arc STM toolset. So. I am going to add this tool in my toolbox. Inside our STM toolbox, there is our STM. After that, I am going to save the projection medium. Uh, this testing sample is in WGS84 format. WGS84 format, and then this suitability map is in uh, WGS UTM format, UTM and 45 North. So I am going to uh, project this. Testing sample so that. So that protection medium will be the same. So 
ओके एंड गो टू प्रॉपर्टीज एंड देन सोर्स देर इज द changes of my project system this is utm 145 north and after that both position system are same so that i'm going to uncheck this and go to toolbox this one go to activity table And then we can make the x y data now go to our toolbox and then go to our stm tool Which I have been radiated this toolbox and then go to ROC tool and then use the true positive value and then <coughs> this is also fill you don't need to put here in last week's models means my suitability map and then estimation <coughs> folder is is equal to the generation I'm going to save the click ok and see a score we generating here and you can get the uh, JPEG format of a C score copy it and go to folder and go to this folder and then click result this is our AC curve with uh, accuracy 80% accuracy uh, thank you for watching if you have any query then please comment the comment section uh, if you don't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel Thank you.